Hello, Leo, and welcome to Ascending Souls Journey. I am Lorianne, here to give you the February monthly reading. This is a general reading for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Leo. We're going to look at love, career, finance, uh, family, romance, whatever comes through this reading, uh, I will relate to you. And we're going to start off the reading with a message from my energy oracle deck. And this will be the overall energy for pretty much everyone in this group for the bunch of Leos for the month of February. And then we're going to look at a specific group on your end and whatever you're dealing with. And remember, I do weekly readings now. So, um, and I break it down by elements, but that way it gives you a lot more information to help you in your, in your journey. So I hope you guys are doing well because you have this sign of deception. Now, deception is the overall energy and what this is talking about. And you can see, I mean, it's kind of pretty, but it's really not. And the reason that I designed it this way is because it's like that, that uh, fake smile. The smile that warms us up, that feel, that victim-y kind of thing. But I feel it's getting ready to leave. I feel like this is an energy where some of you are recognizing somebody around you that might be deceptive. So Leo, I feel some of you are dealing with some uh, toxic people in your life. You're dealing, and a lot of us are, okay? But this is more on a personal level. It could be business, it could be romance. But this is like something that is affecting you. It's affecting your invisible energy field, right? And that's typically when we're dealing with somebody like a family member, somebody that we've really invested a lot of energy, our time, our effort, our love, whatever it is, we're going to take a look at it. So I'm going to look at what I'm viewing as your side first, and then I'll use a different deck for the other side. And keep in mind, again, this is a general reading, so you're going to take from it what is actually applicable in your life. You have the Ten of Wands, and this is a lot of burden. This is a lot of burden of dealing with deception, of dealing with just everything in life. Looking for a job, reinventing, a lot of you are reinventing the way that you're showing yourself to the world. So that you could have been in the year 2020 going through and learning new education, whatever it is, it's a lot of work. And wands have to do with writing. And I feel a lot of you, it's learning new skills that you've been doing in this particular group. Now I break it down into three groups. It's like one coming into the spiritual awakening, one in the middle of the spiritual awakening, and one coming on the outside where you can start seeing and you really understand a lot of the messages that I give, right? So this is a group of you where I feel you've recently become a little bit free. This is a card of consultant. This is independent. This is free. Freedom. This is freedom, but feeling good. Once you drop this burden and a 10 means you're getting ready to let go of it. So I feel you've been dealing with somebody who's deceptive. You maybe have had to... Um, I'm hearing for some of you, you had to actually seclude yourself and some of you, you literally quit your job. So I'm seeing a group of you and they're showing me two dash three months ago, approximately two to three months ago, it was you that may have left your job. You cut the strings and you move forward. And that is in a work and a situation. Now it could be romance. So let's pay uh, uh, attention to the detail and see if this is like for you. Because this is a person that I feel is very deceptive around you. And by being free, you will absolutely turn that Ten of Wands into the One, into the Ace of Wands. So by walking away from this company, by walking away from the person, the experience, it's going to rise you up. Even though we feel this, ugh, <laughs> we feel really bad when we leave because we invested in it again. And the Nine of Pentacles, whatever you've been working on, if you've been starting a new career, pay attention to, and you put a lot of energy in it, and I mean a lot, Leo, pay attention to the people around you. Not just people, but there are people in the background. There are things going on in the background all over in everybody's life. A little bit of chaotic, right? And everybody's seeing it. So you have to pay attention to what's going on, but focus on you because somebody's uh, kind of lurking in the background. Now, whoever you're dealing with, we have 
the eight of cups <laughs> my dog's over there he's upside down looking at me he looks like he's like his eyes are backwards it looks weird um the eight of cups is a person who is has done exactly what i said emotionally invested you put your time your effort into this situation into this person but you see this person may ha they don't have full cups so only half the cups are there, but they don't know what to do. So they sit there on the shrunk. Instead of leaving to go get a ninth cup, walking away from it, they just sit. And that's called stagnancy. This is a person who gets trapped in their emotional and mental body where they don't know how to associate the pain and be able to figure out how to remove it because of the intensity of, of all that energy that they put into this. And I feel for some of you, that was probably you. And this whole story could be you on your end alone. The Four of Cups is being very focused on somebody who uh, we feel we, we have love for, right? It can be a bratty kind of an energy as well. Since we're looking at the card of deception, I feel some of you have been with a situation with a person that has been, uh, has kept you on hold. Or they did. And they kept you on hold, made promises that they couldn't keep, and it kept you stuck. I mean, it literally kept you in this 10 of wands. That's that heavy burden. It's like, I just can't add anything more on my plate. I don't even have two minutes to talk to my best friend. And a lot of us have been going through that. So Leo, <clears throat> let's see a little bit more of the detail. We have the 10 of cups and the 10 of cups is a family life that's the family situation so th like i said this is um something that brought you tremendous abundance i feel in the past but you're you're gonna get it again you're going to get it again this month is more about the discovery of understanding that here it is that this king of wands right here <laughs> the charming individual. Now the King of Wands can represent the sign of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So it could be you turning your back on this situation and saying, uh -uh, I'm leaving. Like I said, two dash three months ago, I'm leaving. I'm putting my back up. Now, if this is not you, this is the person you're dealing with who could be really embracing that fire energy. But when we're dealing with somebody who has toxic and they're, they're deceptive and they're stuck in a past relationship, in a past dynamic, even in a work situation, you know, being in management, I watch this happen a lot. And some of you have seen it as well. They liked the other employee. They didn't want the other employee to leave. So the new one that comes in kind of gets ignored kind of feels like they aren't even welcome there because they're still focused on the one oh remember so and so used to do it this way so we've all experienced that whatever this is this person i feel was very charming very charismatic and left you in a in a, a place of burden actually left you in a place of I'm hearing the word indecisiveness okay not able to make an actual decision and that could very well be. Now, as far as the zodiac sign, we clear and cut have the, the fire in this. We have Taurus that just flew out right now. And we have the elements of everything except swords. But I'm going to pull one more. Let's see if a sword comes out. <laughs> um, and we're going to look at romance in just a second. There's your sword. Here's the king of swords. Now, that's a Libra, Gemini or an Aquarius individual. And I do feel their energy is through here and it may very well be an aqua. I feel whoever you were dealing with is a very stubborn individual, probably a fixed sign, you know what that's like, right? And, and they're very stubborn and set in their ways. If this is a person who is deceptive, which is the overall energy for a lot of you in this group, right? This is a person who may have lied to you. They didn't tell you the truth. You see, if they come out in reverse, they are not a nice person at all. It doesn't matter what zodiac sign comes out in reverse. This is taking, you, you know, it's a lot of the negative stuff. So we don't even want to go there. Now we have this particular card right here, which is the Hierophant. And Leo, this is about 
traditions and values, when it comes to your family life, when it comes to your belief systems of what the ideal life should be, what the ideal family should be. So what I'm being guided to, to recommend for anybody who is in this particular position, I'm hearing to um, use your logic. In this particular situation, because you have invested, you've got heart in it. This is a situation, a person that you love. You love this is abundant, right? It's your 10 of cups, or it was. So in order for you to see things clearly throughout the month of February, and I feel for a lot of you, this energy shift, and I'm gonna be doing an energy reading here very soon uh, today, you know, like on the first or second of February. Um, when the energy shifts, you're going to see the truth. Truth will be revealed to you. And that does represent the King of Swords. But whatever this truth is, has to do with an adjustment, a switch of the way that you're gonna see your traditions, your beliefs, and your, your um, perception of the abundant family life, of what love means for you, of relationships in every area of, of work. I don't know why I'm stuttering. All right, so we're gonna look at married and singles. Now for married, we have the card of retreat, and we have a wonderful card here for the singles as well. But for the married people, if you're in a couple, if you're in a couplehood, even if you're apart, if you're separated, if this feels like your reading, this is about being able to retreat. Like I said, go back within inside of you to look for the deception, to look. Are they ever going to get up? And if they're not and you haven't made a move, you will be making that decision over the next few uh, weeks. But for a lot of you, there's an opportunity to really mend and speak truthful information with your partner. Whether you are far or, or close by each other, it doesn't matter because it's the communication that the two of you will be extending. And through this communication, through this moment in time when you block out the rest of the world, Leo, when there is nothing else that you hear, and you might even start off with an argument, but the argument will switch with this partner of yours. And when you two retreat into a place of solitude in the way you are connected, okay, it doesn't mean in the same room, your connection will feel like you are on a trip with them. It's like going back down memory lane for some of you and remembering this beautiful Ten of Cups and you want it back or they do and somebody is getting ready to express that. It's going to be really lovely. Some of you are getting ready to get married and it could be a single. It could be remarriage for those of you who are married, but the singles give your relationship a chance. So if you've been through deceptive relationships, remember whoever it was in the past is not the person in front of you. So it's important for us to take off those blinders and take a step back and analyze whoever you're dealing with so that you can determine based on your beliefs, you, not somebody else, not what mom taught you, not what your ex taught you, not what your friends tell you, but your own from the authentic person in you. You're gonna be able to know if this is the person who's the right person for you. Is this the person you're going to marry? Some of you, it could very well be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and I do feel aqua in your, in your reading very, very heavily. So Leo, I hope you have an amazing February. Thank you for watching and much love.